Fallout 76 patch notes for December 18th, 2018. I am Checkers Prefect, and let's get started. Our latest patch for Fallout 76 will bring major camp improvements, special respecting, new display settings for PC, and many new bug fixes to the game. Read on for today's complete patch notes. Patch version. Download sizes for this update will be approximately 5 gigabytes for consoles, and around 3 gigabytes for PC. The PC version is 1.0.3.10. We've adjusted our schedule to allow for further testing on console versions of the game. PC maintenance is taking place on December 11th, and we're currently planning for console maintenance to begin on Thursday, December 13th. Translation. PC is guinea pig. Console wins. Highlights. Here are a few of the major changes coming with today's patch. Further below, you'll find more details about each. Camp construction improvements. Small obstructions will now occasionally be automatically removed when you place objects on top of them, allowing you to more easily build when and where you want. You may notice the word occasionally doesn't exist in that sentence. However, it is the truth. Camp placement improvements. You will now be notified when you log into a world and your current camp location is occupied by another player. If you stay in that world, you can place your camp back down for free. If you decide not to place your camp and join a new world where your space is unoccupied, it will be automatically placed in its original spot. Special respecking. Upon reaching level 51 and every level thereafter, you'll be able to choose whether you want to unlock a new perk card or reallocate one special point. Push to talk. We've implemented a push to talk hotkey for voice chat on PC so that you can decide when to speak up and when to remain silent. New PC settings. We've added field of view and depth of field sliders so that you can further customize your view in game, finally. 21 by 9 resolution support on PC. You can catch an even wider view from those gorgeous Appalachian Vistas because Fallout 76 now supports monitors that use 21 by 9 aspect ratios. Huzzah! General. Performance. Several improvements have been made to in-game performance. We'll see. Stability. The Fallout 76 game client and servers have received additional stability improvements. Uh-huh. Art. Lighting. Exposure values have been adjusted for in exterior environments, allowing them to appear brighter in dark conditions. Oh, we could have a long talk about lighting. Balance. Loot. 308 ammo dropped by creatures has been reduced. Players will now receive 308 ammo in stacks of 1 to 5, rather than up to 12 for a single kill. Loot. Super mutants will now drop gunpowder half as often, and the chance for additional loot has been reduced. Caps are guaranteed loot on Super Mutants until level 16. After that, you're on your own, kid. In other words, we're screwing it all down for you. Scorch Beast Queen will now land on the ground more often. Well, that's nice of her. Workshops. Players no longer gain XP when crafting at a public workshop because along with less loot, less XP makes the world a better place. Camp Crafting and Workshops. New, automatically remove obstructions in camp. Sometimes, rocks, small trees, and other small objects no longer prevent players from building items in those locations. No, that's true. They just persist through them occasionally. These obstructions are now, are now automatically removed upon constructing objects and structures in camp, such as foundations. Nope. Placing an object to remove an obstruction and then removing that object will cause the obstruction to reappear after some time or upon logging back in. New Camp Placement Improvements A notification will now be displayed to players upon logging into a world if their current camp location is occupied by someone else. If they choose to remain in that world, they will be able to place their camp in a new location for free. Alternatively, if the player decides not to place their camp in a new location and instead joins a new world, their camp will be automatically placed back in its original location, provided that spot is unoccupied. Additional Camp Crafting and Workshop Updates Camp. The percentage of a camp's budget that is being taken up by stored items and blueprints will now appear in the budget bar. Camp. While in build mode, players can now toggle the left joystick on controllers or press Q on PC. Wait, they have letters on PCs? 
to switch between objects that can be built and those that cannot. Windmill. The power produced by the windmill has been increased from 3 to 12. Workshops. Players can now purchase Atomic Shop items directly from the Workshop menu, and I know that is something we have all truly been concerned about. Since the dawn of Fallout 76, what I wished for was an easier way to spend money at the Atomic Shop. Thank you, Bethesda. Progression. New, special respecking. Every time a player levels up after level 50, they can now choose whether to unlock a new perk card or transfer one previously allocated special point from one category to another. This change is not retroactive for characters that have already progressed beyond level 50, but will apply to every level up they achieve going forward. Translation, all you guys who raced up to level 150, 200 or above, you're screwed. If a player chooses to reallocate a special point on leveling up, they will be unable to select a new perk card for that level, and vice versa. Respecking details have also been added to the perk section of the in-game help menu that no one looks at. Quests! Event quests. A 15-minute cooldown has been added at the end of each Enclave event quest. So. Remember when you could jump around from event to event and actually do something in Fallout 76? There's a cooldown timer on that now. Event Quests XP reward amounts have been reduced for the following event quests. Fertile Soil Collision Course Tea Time Guided Meditation Distinguished Guests Battle Bots Line in the Sand Protest March Grafton Day Patrol Duty Jailbreak, back on the beat, and feed the people. Additionally, the cooldown timer that begins after starting each of these events has been increased from 48 minutes to 1 hour and 12 minutes. Translation, we're going to make it even more grindy. User interface, new push to talk setting PC. A push-to-talk setting has been added for voice chat and is set to the caps lock key by default. The toggle always run hotkey, which used to be set on caps lock, has been moved to the forward slash key by default. Both caps lock and the forward slash hotkeys can be rebound in the controls menu. I didn't actually check that. I should have. New depth of field setting PC. A depth of field slider has been added and can be adjusted in the game's display settings menu. New field of view setting PC, you know, the thing it should have shipped with. A field of view slider has been added and can be adjusted in the game's display settings menu. The field of view slider can be adjusted in increments of 5 to a maximum of 120 and a minimum of 70 for those of you who enjoy that truly claustrophobic feel. Note, field of view will automatically be set to 70 while modifying a character's appearance, but can otherwise be set between the values mentioned above. New 21 by 9 resolution support PC. The game client will now automatically detect and apply the correct display resolution for monitors that use 21 by 9 resolutions. Additionally, various 29, 21 by 9 resolutions can be selected in the game's display settings menu. Additional user interface updates. AFK Timer. The timer that disconnects players after a period of inactivity in game has been increased from 10 to 30 minutes, and the warning prompt will now display 3 minutes rather than 1 minute prior to being disconnected. Atomic Shop. Items that have recently be been added to the Atomic Shop now display a new icon, and new items will now sort to the front of their associated subsections. Thank goodness. Atomic Shop. Item subtitles in the Atomic Shop have been moved to the top of the item images. Oh, great, I was so worried about that. Compass. Maximums have been implemented for each type of marker that can appear in the compass, and up to 60 markers in total can be visible at once. Up to 10 markers for each quests, locations, hostile players, and enemies. 
up to eight markers each for neutral players and targeted enemies, up to four markers for teammates. Players can still use their pit boys to toggle tracking off for individual quests if they'd prefer to reduce the amount of quest markers in the compass and on screen. Bug fixes stability and performance. Performance fixed an issue that could cause the player to encounter an infinite loading screen when fast traveling. Performance addressed hitching that could occur during combat in nuke silos. Performance addressed an issue that could cause reduced performance and displayed a red text error when viewing the map, map menu, perk screen, or a note. Performance addressed an issue that could cause hitching on the perk menu when sharing a perk card or unequipping a shared perk card. Performance addressed a performance issue on Xbox that could occur while traveling in the mire. Performance addressed an issue that could cause reduced performance after a Wendigo screams. Stability addressed a crash that could occur when accessing the transfer menu after picking up a power armor chassis. Stability addressed a crash that could occur if a team invite was automatically declined after not being accepted or rejected. And I'm going to insert one here. The weight bug is different now. You get more weight rather than less if you keep all of your things on or something. I don't know, but weight is still bugged. General Achievements Winning the Monster Mash event by collecting the most candy now correctly awards the associated achievement trophy for console players. Achievements Killing the Scorch Beast Queen during the Scorched Earth event now correctly awards the associated achievement slash trophy for console players. Achievements Completing the Breach and Clear event now correctly awards the associated achievement trophy for console players. Art and graphics. Animations. Ghouls in the Vault Tech Agricultural Research Center's basement no longer hitch while playing their movement animations. They're just going to have to get married somewhere else. Animations. Super mutants inside the Eastern Regional Penitentiary no longer hitch or stall while playing their movement animations. Animations. Fixed several issues causing vertibots and other cargo bots to exhibit odd movement behavior when landing. I'll believe it when I see it. Camp. On consoles, objects built by the player will no longer temporarily appear completely black upon joining a world. No more stealth mode for you. Character models. Other players' character models will no longer display visual issues when a loading screen completes after exiting a building. Mm-hmm. Graphics fixed a visual issue that could cause wooden objects and structures to display blurry graphics effects. Graphics on PS4 flames and fire effects now render correctly and no longer only display smoke and embers. Graphics fixed an issue on PS4 that could cause objects within building interiors to appear very dark. Graphics fixed an issue that could cause shadows and lighting to flicker in some environments and inside certain buildings. Graphics. Flamethrower traps no longer display dark hexagonal objects while firing. <laughs> Graphics. Corrected a visual issue affecting smoke produced by the cooling towers at the Thunder Mountain power plant. Paints. Modding combat armor after applying paint no longer prevents the paint from appearing. Power armor. On Xbox One, visual artifacts will no longer appear in the upper corners of the screen while wearing power armor in the rain. Weather. Objects in the world will no longer appear to flicker while it's raining. Weapons. The minigun's barrel no longer appears partially transparent when previewing it in the inspect menu. Weapons. Being attacked while using a chainsaw no longer causes a tunnel vision-like graphic effect to appear on screen. Weapons. The Pitchfork Flamer mod no longer displays a blocky green texture when previewing it at a weapons workbench. Weapons. An extra bolt no longer appears when previewing crossbows in the inspect, trade, or transfer menus. Weapons. Fire, heated, and electric visual effects now appear correctly when previewing weapons in the modify and inspect menus. Camps, workshops, and crafting. 
Blueprints. Fixed an issue that could prevent a blueprint from being placed and cause a cannot place item selected item is floating error to display, even if the placement preview showed the intended location was valid. Blueprints. Fixed an issue that could prevent a blueprint from being placed without displaying an error message, even if the placement preview showed the intended location as valid. Blueprints. The placement preview for a blueprint that contains floating objects will no longer occasionally display a green outline despite being unplaceable. Blueprints. Attempting to place a blueprint by snapping it to an existing structure will no longer appear acceptable or allow placement if it would cause objects to overlap. Blueprints. Fixed an issue that could allow creation of a blueprint that exceeded the blueprint budget. Containers. Fixed an exploit that could enable unlimited item storage. Doorways can now be correctly snapped to floors that are attached to stairs. Recent. The recent tab in the build menu will now correctly display objects that have recently been built. Scrapping. Fixed an issue that could allow a player to unintentionally scrap their Pip-Boy. Ha ha ha. Boy, was that a good one. Stairs can no longer be placed in a way that causes them to clip through roof objects. Stored addresses an exploit that could cause items in the Stored tab to become duplicated. Stored, storing a variant of an object that the player has not yet learned how to build will now cause that item to be converted to a variant the player can build. If no variants have been learned, the stored item will be converted to its base version. Wind chimes can now be correctly attached to walls in camps. Workbenches. The list of available crafting materials at the power armor station now updates correctly upon modifying a suit of power armor. Workshops. After powering up a power plant, power boxes at the plant now correctly produce 400 power and power boxes at surrounding workshops produce 100 power. Workshops. Car models no longer reappear after being removed by building an object on top of them. Enemies. General. Fixed an issue that could cause enemies to remain stationary while they were out of combat. Bee swarms are no longer invisible. Honey beasts no longer drop more adhesive than intended and now instead drop a stack of one to two adhesive on death. Mirelurk Queen. The Mirelurk Queen's acid attack no longer deals more damage than intended. Scorch Beast. The Scorch Beast in the glassed cavern can no longer fly through walls. Items. Aid. Fixed an issue causing bobbleheads and magazines to spawn at a lower rate than intended. These items should now appear 16% more often. Apparel. Buying apparel from a vendor will now correctly add that item to the player's inventory. Armor. Fixed an exploit affecting certain armor types that could allow players to gain unlimited carry capacity during that play session. Caps. Addressed several exploits that could allow players to gain caps more quickly than intended. Power Armor. Fixed an issue that could allow two players to simultaneously activate the same suit of unarmed, unowned Power Armor. Boy, wouldn't that make you blush. Power Armor. It is no longer possible to transfer more than one fusion core into a suit of Power Armor. Serums. Now correctly apply mutations when consumed, and mutations applied in this way now correct correctly appear in the Pip-Boy's Effects tab. Vendors. Items that do not have a cap value can no longer be sold to vendors. Weapons. Applying a precise stock mod to the pipe bolt-action pistol no longer increases its rate of fire. Weapons. Attacking another player with a cryolator no longer drains their action points outside of mutual PvP. Weapons. Fixed an issue that could prevent plasma pistols from dealing damage. Weapons. 
Projectile weapons no longer fire at the player's feet when aiming at a downward angle. Quests Personal matters fixed several issues that could prevent Evan from spawning correctly. An ounce of prevention, the T-type fuse quest marker, now correctly appears above the container that contains the fuse. Additionally, an optional new objective has been added to help players find a way into Greg's mind supply. Chow Line. This daily quest can no longer be repeated multiple times per day. Dropped Connection. Loot that is left behind by other players after completing this event is now correctly cleared when the event restarts. Events. Players can now correctly join event quests after fast traveling to a nearby location and walking into an active event area. Feed the People Fixed an issue in which completing the Feed the People event quest granted canned meat stew to all players on the server, rather than only the quest's participants. The Missing Link Collecting the uplink now correctly clears the Retrieve the Uplink quest step. Line in the sand. Waves of Scorch no longer walk into the walls of Fort Defiance when attempting to reach the Sonic Generator. Scorched Earth. Fixed an issue that could cause this event to be completed immediately after it began. Scorched Earth. Players who damage the Scorch Beast Queen will now correctly receive two military commendations when she is killed, even if they did not land the killing blow. Perks. Critical Savvy no longer allows the player to use a critical strike if the critical meter is not completely filled. Fix it good. Bonus durability added to armor is no longer suddenly lost after being hit a few times. Green Thumb. The double harvest benefit of this perk no longer incorrectly applies to Mothman eggs. Heavy Gunner no longer incorrectly benefits the auto grenade launcher. Shotgun perks no longer incorrectly benefit the M79 grenade launcher. Strange in numbers now correctly increases positive mutation effects by 25% rather than 50% when on a team with a player who has mutations that grant bonuses to special stats. Weapon Artisan Bonus durability added to a weapon is no longer suddenly lost after using the weapon a few times. Translation, one time. PVP, weapon damage, addressed an issue that could prevent high-level weapons from dealing damage during PVP. Team PVP, when attacked by a player who is on a team, the target will now correctly enter mutual PVP with the entire team upon returning fire to any of the aggressor's teammates. If the target was also on a team, returning fire will begin mutual PvP between both teams. Huzzah! Turrets will no longer fire on another player who is attacked by the owner of those turrets outside of mutual PvP combat. Social! Friends! Friends who have been blocked will now remain visible in the friends list. This should help players unblock a friend who they may have blocked accidentally. Friends. Friends who have been blocked or ignored will now display a blocked or ignored tag next to their account name in the friends list. Friends. Friend status in the social menu will now correctly update to online, offline, or main menu. Social menu. Players in the social menu are now correctly sorted first by those who are online in the same world, online in another world, at the main menu, offline, ignored, blocked, finally by alphabetical order, and how many atoms they've purchased from the store. Oh wait, I made that one up. Social menu. Players on PC who use controllers can now correctly access the search field found at the bottom of the social menu. Social menu. Players in the recent players list no longer display an online offline or main menu status. Teams. Players will no longer be placed into a team alone if the player they previously invited disconnects from the game. Teams. 
Attempting to accept a team invite after the team's leader has left the team will no longer cause an error message to display. Teams. Team members who exit the game will be removed from the team after logging back in. If the team leader disconnected in this way, another team member will become the leader. Teams. Fixed an issue that could prevent team invites from being displayed to the player. Sound. Game volume. On Xbox, the game's audio volume will no longer fluctuate when looking through a weapon scope. Crazy that. Holotapes. Choosing play upon finding a holotape in the world while using the Quick Boy version of the Pip Boy no longer prevents its voiceover from playing. Oh, is that why that happened? Sound effects. On PS4, wind sound effects at high altitudes now fade out rather than ending abruptly. Radio. Playing a holotape while listening to Appalachia Radio no longer causes a delay when the radio transitions to the next song. User Interface Atomic Shop On PC, clicking the back button while viewing an item's detailed description no longer causes that item's details overlay to persist on screen. Atomic Shop The clickable area on item buttons in the leftmost column in the Atomic Shop now correctly matches the size of the buttons. Atomic Shop addressed an issue that could prevent items in the Atomic Shop from loading correctly for players on console. Atomic Shop fixed an issue that could prevent fanfare from playing or cause it to end early. After making a purchase, we wouldn't want you to not get your Skinner Box reaction. Atomic Shop clicks will no longer fail to register along the bottom edge of the screen when attempting to purchase atoms while running the game on PC with a 16 by 10 monitor resolution. The entire game may burn down around us, but by God, you will be able to purchase atoms. Challenges. The level up daily challenge no longer remains completed when challenges reset on a new day. Containers. Weight values no longer shift slightly to the left when viewing a container's inventory. What does that even mean? Graphics settings. Addressed an issue that could cause graphics settings to automatically default to low for some graphics cards despite being able to support higher settings. Oh, you mean like my Titan XP? Yeah, that's hysterical. Hotkeys. Rebinding jump to a mouse button now correctly causes the search and modify repair prompts to display the updated hotkey. Keypads. Attempting to access a keypad being used by another player will now correctly display an error message stating that the keypad is in use. Localization. Carry weight and current cap totals no longer appear truncated in the bottom right corner of the map in the Chinese game client. Localization. Password characters are no longer missing from the note in the storage room in Camp Venture in the Polish version of the game client. Dziękuję. Localization. Fixed an issue that could cause text to disappear or appear misaligned in hackable terminals in the Korean version of the game client. Localization. Wall and floor decor section titles in the camp's build menu no longer appear truncated in the traditional Chinese game client. Power Armor Fast traveling with power armor that was purchased in the Atomic Shop no longer removes the Atomic Shop logo. What power armor can you purchase in the Atomic Shop? Power Armor While wearing power armor and playing in 21 by 9 aspect ratios on PC, Raindrops and other visual effects now correctly extend to the edges of the screen. Quest Tracker Fixed an issue that could cause placeholder text to display to teammates in the Quest Tracker as the team leader progressed throughout a quest. Respawn Choosing to respawn at the nearest map marker no longer occasionally causes the player to encounter an infinite loading screen, a black screen, or an error message. Settings. Fixed an issue on PC that could allow the game client's visible area 
to extend beyond the bounds of the monitor. That's Melee attacks will now correctly increase the critical meter. Workshops. The notification that appears when a player is prompted to retake a previously owned workshop no longer displays placeholder text. And that, my friends, is the entirety of the patch notes for 1.0.3.10. Do they all work? Is it all going to be exactly as they say? I seriously doubt it. I can tell you that small plants do persist through foundations and objects, trees and rocks occasion. Rocks, smaller rocks disappear, bigger rocks don't, but you can build over them. Smaller trees disappear, larger, slightly larger trees don't. Uh, the weight bug, as I said, is a problem still, but it's gone the other way as far as I can tell you. If you log out with your power armor on and back in, I seem to have more weight than I did before. So we're still in those very, very wild west days, even as they prepare 1.0.3.10 for consoles in two days. Alrighty, folks, this has been Checkers with a look at the patch notes for Fallout 76 on December 11th of 2018. I hope you enjoyed them and found them at least somewhat amusing if not quite as informative as they should be. I would like to thank you for watching. I would also like to invite you to subscribe. Thank you kindly if you are already subscribed. And most of all, I would like to ask you to please, please take care. Strange in numbers now correctly increases the positive mu fit mutation.